And so tell me the story of the pair. All right, so so um, one summer, <laughs> so one one summer, my grandmother's friend, my grandmother lived with us, and her friend down the down the street, a few blocks away, had these two big pear trees in her yard, and she. I can't do this. Come on, do it. You cry. Move your hand. <laughs> I can't. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, it's a great story. Stop. You just keep going. Your grandmother had the pear. My grandmother didn't have so Mrs. Pendula down the road. She's like a few blocks away. She has this, these two big pear trees in her yard. And so there must have been a lot of pears that year. So she gets me and my sister, you know, we're little kids, to go to Mrs. Mrs. Pendula's house and, and get the pears. And so we go to her house and there's like, you know, we have these big shop, these paper shopping bags. And, um, and you know, the pears are gross. They're, they're all on, they're all rotten. Mrs. and they're full of, Mrs. Pendula, Mrs. Mrs. Pendula. Pendula, her friend, Mrs. Pendula. And the, rot, the pears are all rotten, you know, and they're all full of bugs and they're like really gross and we're picking them up, you know, and putting them in these bags. And my grandmother is like, she's not a really nice person, you know, it's not like we really enjoy being with her. So, yeah, it's not like it's really fun or anything. So, you know, we pick up all the pears and we bring them back to the house. And, um, and then she, she cuts them up and she cooks them and she makes like cooked pears. And, you know, later I guess she brings a bowl down or something for us to eat. And it was really good. You know, the pears were really good. I just remember the pears were good. But, I don't know, I just, you know, I have this that memory. Well, that, that's it. I mean, that's what, that's what happened. Oh, you so know? this was obviously because you saw a pear tree in the pasture. Well, we have you a pear tree. In, you left we that have part a pear out. tree in the pasture, which I didn't realize we had a pear tree in the pasture. I get it. So, and I'm writing about this on my blog, and I'm telling you the story. But the thing is, this was like the first time I ever, you know, we grew up in the suburbs, and this was the first time where I ever, like, we went out and we took these pears, which were like garbage, which I thought were like, you know, just you mean Mrs. Pendella's pears. Pendulous. Pendulous. Yeah, they were just like these garbage things that I would have, you know, we would have like mashed them up and played with them or like just been disgusted by them. And she made food, my grandmother made food out of them. It was like the first time I ever saw that really Oh, you happen. saw that process happen. You know, with where you pick it, you get a pear from, you pick up a pear from the ground, you make it into food. It was, you know, it was kind of, I didn't even think about it at the time, but I think that's why I remember it, you know, because it wasn't fun. But I think that's why I remember. And this was triggered this morning because you found a pear tree in the back pasture. Because we have a pear tree in the back pasture. Which we tried to eat, which wasn't very they good. They weren't either. very They were garbage too. <laughs> and we no, but we could cook them up. We could cook them up like app like some sour apples and put sugar in it. Or, you what know, will happen maple then? syrup. And then we'll have like pear like applesauce except pears or stewed pears or something like that. All right. Well, thank you. So this is the story of Mrs. Pendella. Pendella. Pendula's pears. This is Pendula's pears. Yes, <laughs> it applies. I wasn't sure where it was going, but I think it's a great story. You think, think it's a good story? I think it's a great story. I was thinking, as I was writing it, I was thinking, you know, is this is, is there anything worthy here? It's just a memory. Is there a story here? I used you to know? get dizzy from watching your hands, but now I love it when you tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for telling us the story of this. This was brought to you by Bedlam Farm Production. <laughs>